Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth part of the chapter Geomorphic Processes and Landforms of the Earth. Today we will discuss Plateaus. An upland surface with the height of 300 meter or more from sea level, steep sided, widely extended and having slightly rolling or undulating top is known as the plateau. Actually, the plateau is broad and rather level stretch landform rising sharply from the neighboring low land and having undulating top. They are basically known as the plateau. There are some important features of the plateau. These are widely extended landform with the average height of 300 meter or more. The top of the plateau is undulating in nature. They have steep sides and deep edges. They are formed by hard igneous or metamorphic rock. The nature of the plateau, its height and structure varies according to its location. Plateaus are sometimes called table land because they have steep sides and top of the plateau are almost flat or slightly undulating. It often looks like table standing above the surroundings from a certain distance and that's why plateaus are also known as the table land. According to origin, plateaus are broadly classified into four categories like tectonic plateau, erosional plateau, depositional plateau and other plateaus. Tectonic plateau can also be further classified into four categories like intermontane plateau, continental plateau, tilted plateau and faulted plateau. Erosional plateau are of three types, dissected plateau, denudated plateau and uniclinal plateau. Depositional plateau are also known as the lava plateau. Other plateaus are of three types like Piedmont plateau, desert plateau and snow covered plateau. Among these categories, important plateaus are intermontane plateau, dissected plateau, lava plateau and continental plateau. Intermontane plateau. The plateau which is surrounded by mountain or fold mountain is known as the intermontane plateau. The concept of such plateau can easily be explained from its name. Intermontane plateaus are generally surrounded by the mountains. During mountain building movement, when pole mountains rise up due to the horizontal pressure, the lands in between mountains or the median mass also lift up and form intermontane plateau. Generally, anticlines form mountain range and syncline form valley. But sometimes synclines are formed with the hard resistant rock and they are also uplifted with the adjacent anticlines and form such type of plateaus. There are some important features of the intermontane plateau. These plateaus are enclosed with the ranges of whole mountain system. The average height of these type of plateaus are almost 3500 meter to 4000 meter and above. They spread over a large area and form with the sedimentary rock strata. Important examples of intermontane plateau are Pamir plateau, Tibet plateau, Columbia plateau, Bolivia plateau, etc. Pamir plateau. It is the world's highest plateau formed in central mountain region of Asia having an average height of 5000 meter. There are so many mountain ranges have been spread out from Pamir, so it is also known as the mountain north. Due to its height, it is also known as the roof of the world. Tibet Plateau By covering almost 10,000 square kilometer area of China, Tibet is the world's largest intermontane plateau. It is situated in between 
Himalaya and Kuenlun mountain of China. Its average height is 4000 meter. Dissected Plateau The plateau which are eroded by denudation process and broken by deep narrow valleys are known as the dissected plateau. It means dissected plateaus are formed by different erosional and denudational processes of the earth's surface. The earth movement causes an upliftment of earth crust and if the part of the surface is covered with the hard and soft rocks alternatively, different erosional activities like weathering, mass wasting and river erode soft rocks faster than the hard rocks. As a result, hard rocks are bifurcated from each other and stand alone by retaining their flatness and equality of height. By such process, dissected plateaus are formed. There are some important features of dissected plateaus. They are derived from old extensive highland by weathering, erosion and denudation. Rocks are remain hard and resist of erosion. Incel birds are formed in desert areas. Mesas are formed in semi-arid region. Important examples of dissected plateaus are Uta Plateau, Bundelkhand Plateau of Central India, Lava Plateau. By fissure eruption, lava comes out from Earth's interior and spreads over wide extended area of Earth's surface and solidify by cooling down to form plateau. Such plateaus are known as volcanic or lava plateau. In that case, magma comes out from Earth's interior and deposited over Earth's surface and form lava plateaus. Sometimes magma erupt through the cracks, joints or faults of the Earth's surface without any explosion and deposited over the surface. Such eruptions are known as fissure eruption due to imbalance of temperature and pressure within the Earth's interior magma comes out silently through the cracks or faults of the rock strata and flow over wide extended area and solidify as we can see here such eruptions are occurred in two or three phases generally magma are basic in nature with high density Deccan trap of india is formed by such type of fissure eruptions Deccan trap almost 7 to 13 crores year ago that means from cretaceous to eocene geological age the westernmost part of southern india was experienced by fissure eruption and magma has spread over 5 lakh square kilometer area of the deccan region according to scientists there are three phases of magma eruptions which form basaltic rock strata and that has been denudated by uneven erosional process. As a result, steps or stair-like landforms are formed which is known as trap or Deccan trap. There are some important features of lava plateau. These are flat in shape and extended in nature. Steps are formed due to uneven erosional processes. They are mainly formed by basalt or amphibolite rock. They are generally formed within the land masses. Important examples of lava plateau are Altiplano of Peru, Kimberley Plateau of Australia and Khan Plateau of India. Continental Plateau The plateau which is formed covering almost entire or some part of continent is known as continental plateau. There are some regions in the continent which were formed in ancient geological era and this part of the earth's surface are stable and rigid in nature. 
the height of such rigid land mass had not been degraded by prolonged erosion and form continental plateaus these land mass is also known as shield region canadian shield region is a prime example of such ancient earth crust which has been formed by old granitic rock strata during the cooling down process of the earth from molten state through radiating out of heat actually all shield regions are plateau but all plateaus are not shields because all shields form continental plateau but apart from shield region plateaus can also be formed by different ways the important features of continental plateaus are these plateaus are formed by hard rigid land mass the existence of joint fault or folding are rare to be observed here they are vastly extended they can be transformed into peneplain by prolonged erosion important examples of continental plateaus are antarctica plateau siberian shield plateau it is the world's largest shield region and arabian plateau thank you